Welcome back. Tonight we have the third of our mayoral candidates, Peter Taylor. Peter, welcome along. Hey, thank you very much, Travis. And it's good to be on the program. Very good. Peter, John Deere and Shire, is it a financial basket case? <laughs> a little bit of uh, politics being played in the heat of an election, I'd suggest. And it's disappointing, really. Well, when we say it's politics, though, your very own chief executive stood up at a meeting in 2006 in front of all the Shires and said, unsolicited, John Deere and Shire is a financial basket case. Oh, in the heat of the moment, he said, uh, made comments, but certainly those comments have been taken out of context. Uh, John Deere and Shire uh, uh, is in a very good, sound financial position. And it was really those comments were taken out of total context of what he said. Did not the figures that you yourself submitted to the Queensland Treasury for analysis confirm that you were in extremely, in fact, very weak position financially? Uh, that was a snapshot in time, not a financial report. It was not based on any financial analysis. The facts remain, though, your chief executive has stood up and said you're a financial basket case. The state government, on figures you've given them, has come up to the same conclusion that they rated you very weak. You, you can't really dodge the facts. No, no, they haven't rated. That's not a financial... Are those two things facts? Look, fact is that we were rated weak in the Treasury report. Very weak. Uh, very weak in the Treasury report because we honestly put in our forward estimates 25 million. And that is not the case financially. We've always had an unqualified order. Look at our resources. Look at our infrastructure. Go and have a look at John Deere and Shire. Don't trust what I say. Trust what we've done on the street. Have, have a look, look at Charlton Well Camp. Have a look at Charlton Well Camp where we're building a $10 million new sewage treatment plant. What and about the development out there where you've got unsealed roads? There's no water, no power. Development's no. not allowed to go unabated. No, sorry. There, are, there is water for the region. We build a pipeline. To, to every development in that oh, no, that's no, no, that's coming. That's coming. What boards do you currently sit on? Oh, I sit on a range of boards, I guess. Uh, I can start with the local government association where I've been a director there for a number of years. It, it manages a range of companies from insurance to workers' compensation schemes, uh, an IT company, a purchasing company, multi-million dollar turnovers. I also sit on the uh, LG Super Board. Will you lose a six-figure income from your two positions that you mentioned at LGAQ and the Super Board if you don't become mayor? A six-figure income? No, I don't. Will you lose I don't six do let me say it again so you do understand it. Yeah. You've got a six-figure income between those two board positions on the line if you don't win Saturday. Yes or no? No. How much? Well, the LGAQ, I get a, a meeting fee to go to the LGAQ to their meetings. I think it's uh, around $300 a day. So I, I only do uh, you know, a few you meetings a here. Super board is uh, a salary. It's uh, oh, look in the order of uh, around $30,000, I think, uh, annually. Peter, you've been there for 23 years at John Deere. Hmm. Are you a career politician? <laughs> I don't think so, no. I never dreamed I'd be in this position today running for a large regional council. In fact, I never anticipated I'd be there on my council. Do you have ambitions to run for state or federal parliament? No, not whatever. We and categorically I'm, rule that out for the future. I rule that out, absolutely rule that out. I'm not a member of any political party. I understand that, though, but do you have ambitions to run? No, I don't. No, no, I don't. Local okay. government's where I live and local government's where I'll stay. I love being where I am and I'll work where I am. I'm not a member of a political party. I won't join a political party, and I've taken no donation, no financial support, and no put support from people doing uh, party political, you know, all those things you read about. Clarify my question. It's not about party politics, mm. it's about your ambition. That's why I asked the question. Uh, no, my ambition is to stay in local government. I will, will not be leaving local government. Okay. When it comes to the big issues, do you always sit on the fence? <laughs> no, I don't. No, we've taken a lot of hard decisions, like two-part water tariff. Uh, road funding. Right. Big issue. Recycled mm. drinking water, yes or no? Uh, the, the answer to that is purple pipes. That's the long term answer. The, uh, the options were yes or no. <laughs> yes or no. Well, yeah, Wyvernhoe. Are we talking about Wyvernhoe or are we talking about a plant here? I, I'm, I'm talking believe. about drinking recycled water as a concept. Yes or no? Well, no, initially in Toowoomba because the people have ruled it out. However, if we run out of water. Have you changed your position on that? No, I haven't changed my position. You were always not. John Derry and Shire had a position after consulting its people, and the people voted against it. We said purple pot. So I wanted to recycle. What was your view prior to that? Oh, look, I, uh, I haven't really got a view, except that on my personal view, it doesn't matter. Why should it be you on Saturday? Oh, look, I think I've got the experience. I've had, uh, I think if people look at what I've done, not what I say, I've been able to pull together teams, different teams of people. People with different views. I've been able to get the best out of the people around a boardroom table. And I like to work with the community, bottom-up development, not top-down. So I enjoy working with people, but I believe I can get the cooperation and teamwork and the experience that's necessary to really deliver great outcomes to this region. I'm really positive about the future of the region. I think it can be the number one region in Queensland, if not Australia. Very good, Peter. Thanks for your time. Yeah, right. 
And that's the last of our mayoral interviews one-on-one. -on -one. We hope it will help you decide where you're going to cast your vote.